AI is infiltrating everything. It's everywhere. Personally, I'm getting afraid that I'll get left behind. And will AI one day replace me as a UX designer? But instead of worrying, let's get into how we can leverage AI to make UX work 1000x easier. I'm Chris, a UX designer and founder. And to find out what all the fuss is about, I've been actively using AI every single day. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the f <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm here to talk about five AI tools that every single designer needs to know. ChatGPT, Notion AI, UIZard, Galileo, Midjourney. Then later in the video, I'm going to show you how to implement this into your UX process. So let's dive into the five AI tools for UX designer. The first one is ChatGPT. We've all heard of ChatGPT. If you haven't, Bruh. which rock have you been sleeping under? <laughs> what are you simpletons doing? It's co-founded by this guy. Sam Oldman. Using a chat interface, you can essentially ask it anything. Wow. For example, what's the average salary of a UX designer? What about in India? So you can keep refining the questions, forcing AI to get even more specific or ask it something completely new. You can use it for research, brainstorming, literally anything you can think of. More on how to use it and prompts later. The next is Notion AI. Notion AI is basically a chat GPT, but way sexier. I mean, way sexier. I've tried both chat GPT and Notion AI, and the results are pretty similar. But if you already use Notion for your UX design process, installing this tool be way more convenient. With Notion AI, you can quickly generate design ideas, summarize data, and help you format your documentation, and work with your team more effectively by using Notion's collaboration features. It's incredible incredibly easy to use with suggested prompts. They're currently offering the free version of Notion AI, so you should try it yourself. Next up, we have UIZard, or UIZard? I don't know. Anyway, it's wizard, but with UI. It's an AI-based prototyping tool, and it's used as your AI assistant tool that helps you from A to Z of your design process with minimal effort. Well, that's the promise. Imagine a tool that can help you turn your sketches into digital designs. That's right. Say you're sketching ideas for your app. All you need to do is take a picture and boom, the sketches instantly turn into UI. In UIZard, you can generate wireframes, mockups, prototypes, and code for front-end development. I mean, how much time do you think this will save you? For me, so many hours. Similar to UIZard and ChatGPT is Galileo. 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 Galileo Galileo AI is a tool used for generating UI from text description. Galileo helps you create a complex UI based on your text inputs. So essentially you describe what you want and bam, generate a onboarding screen for a dog walking app. What does the user settings page look like? If ChatGPT can write an academic essay just from a prompt, then Galileo AI can help you create a beautiful UI design just from a few words. This tool uses NLP or natural language processing to understand text descriptions and generate a design. The craziest thing is, wait for it, the, the craziest thing is you can export it to Figma. Your prototyping and UI design just became magic. And finally, our last tool. That's right, you guessed it, Midjourney. Midjourney allows you to create quick ideas for design concepts. Midjourney lets you create amazing art. It is probably the best text to image AI tool in the market. With Midjourney, you can generate multiple visual assets instead of using, let's say, unsplashed or boring Google images. The results are phenomenal. And you do this all right in Discord, another chat interface, things like characters, landscapes, coffee, humans. Basically, you focus on the product and generate assets to match your product's brand. Here are some of my favorites from the internet. These tools are incredible. Imagine using ChatGPT to come up with an idea and then using Notion AI to write a kick-ass design brief and then start sketching and digitalizing it with UIZard. So if you're not happy with that idea, you can generate better designs using Galileo and then you import it 
into Figma, and then finally using Midjourney to create a visual mood board of your product. Ooh. All taking you less than a day's work. This shit it crazy. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, let's say you don't want to do that, but you want to integrate tools into your UX process. Okay, but which tool? Can you guess? I'll um, give you a minute. Yep, that's right, it's ChatGPT. ChatGPT can help you with brainstorming, prototyping, feedback, and predicting. Let's dive deeper on how it can help you. So specifically with brainstorming, it's hands down one of the best features ChatGPT can help UX designers with. Ask it to generate countless design ideas without getting stuck in the same thought patterns. For example, what are some ways to approach enter a problem? What are some unique ways to design enter a solution? What are some possible problems of enter a use case? Imagine you're redesigning a enter a product, but with the opposite user experience in mind, how would you change the design to create a completely new and unique experience? Okay, let's talk about prototyping. Prototyping is usually quite time consuming, but let's just show you how ChatGPT can do that for you. So a prompt you can try is create a storyboard that showcases the user flow through let's say an educational e-commerce website. This prompt can help you visualize the interactions and give you a foundation of your customer journey map. It can also help you identify issues and build your happy flow prototype. Okay, so let's talk about feedback. Yes, that's it. You're asking AI for feedback. Strange world, right? So a problem you might use is evaluating the usability of enter a product or here I would say UX playbook. You can ask it to review the accessibility for any website. What are some areas of improvement and enter the idea? What emotion does enter brand the design invoke in the user then you can ask chat gpt to predict so let's get ai to predict the future okay maybe it can't do that but you can try to predict user behavior you can predict the success of a design solution analyze the results from user testing okay so here are some example prompts again analyze the results of a user testing session for enter hypothesis evaluate the clarity and visibility of a call to action for enter hypothesis or product give feedback on the enter value proposition for enter solution okay so ai Awesome, ChatGPT, awesome. But here's what I think about this. I think AI used by UX designers significantly reduces the time and effort working on design processes, as long as you can provide detailed prompts and relevant targeted questions. So you're gonna have to improve your writing skills if you wanna talk to AI. While I consider AI a game changer in UX design, I believe it can never fully embody the creativity, the empathy, and the expertise that only humans can bring to the field. But I am looking forward to personalization and customization. The question is this, can AI help us make products and services more personalized to a user's preferences by understanding their data without detailed prompts from us? And for customization, can AI help us with narrow use cases that only a few users might face? Could it generate hyper-specific UI depending on the scenario? that the user's going through? I mean, lots of questions. Finally, the power of not being at our desk so much. Can AI give us more time back so we don't have to live our life in design software? Imagine spending most of our days talking to people we design for and just debriefing AI. The AI age is here. Don't get left behind and start using these tools to your advantage. If you're interested in learning more about AI and UX, the intersection of both of those, check out my blog, Link in the description. Or, 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 you can hit the big red button for more UX videos. Bye!